So this is the last lecture of today. <laughs> yeah. So would you please pay attention to the message? <laughs> so this, uh, the fifth point for the spiritual knowledge is uh, spiritual problems. So what is a spiritual problem? A spiritual problem it cannot be healed by uh, you know current medicine. <laughs> so the present medicine, they do not know about the spiritual things and they cannot heal this spiritual problem. So with the spiritual problems, when you go to hospital, then they will diagnose, uh, anyhow, uh, they, you'll be diagnosed with the incurable disease. So, even though the doctor may diagnose something, but actually a spiritual problem has no cause. Yeah. So problems like this, incurable or the causes unknown, we call them spiritual problems. So in Book of Mark, chapter 5, uh, verse 1 through 15, what kind of diseases can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Here we can see people with the evil spirit, possessed by evil spirits. Uh, and the man with the uh, the man possessed by the evil spirit lived in the tombs. And no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain. Even though he was a cha he was chained, but he cut off the chain, so no one could bind him. In verse 5, night and day among the tombs and in the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with the stones. And scripture says he was with the evil spirit. Uh, 
자, 예수님이 이 지방을 방문한 겁니다. But Jesus he visited this village. 예수님 보자면 막 달려가지고 막 절을 하면서 소리를 지릅니다. Then this man when he saw Jesus from a distance he ran and fell on his knees in front of Jesus. So let's look at this how this man, the evil spirit, knows about Jesus so well. So in verse 7, he shouted at the top of his voice, um, Jesus, Son of the Most High God. For the Jews, they read the scriptures, they knew about the scripture very well, but when Jesus said he is from heaven, but he, they said you are a blaspheming God, but this evil spirit said, Son of the Most High God. Uh, so the, the evil spirit, just like the evil spirit, knew about Jesus so well. And also, when you are brought to the evil spirit, the evil spirit will know that you are really fake believer or a real genuine believer. If you go to um, you know, evil spirit possessed man, then they will see, they can tell that you are uh, really a man of the you know, uh, believer or non believer. Oh. So this evil spirit recognized who Jesus was. He said, you are the, the son of the most high God. Again, he said, uh, what do you do? What do you want with me? So uh, do not torture me, he said. But Jesus said to him that come out of this man, you evil spirit. And Jesus asked the evil spirit, that, What is your name? He said, My name is Legion. So legion means that uh, there are so many evil spirits inside of this man. Uh, 
그러니까 예수님께서 나가라 캐시 나가야 될까 합니까? 예수님이 귀신 말 예수님 말 명이 복종해야 될까? 제발 이 지방에 떠나라 약해달라. So Jesus since commanded him to come out of this man. So then he begged Jesus that um, do not send us, uh, and don't send uh, do not send us to out of this area. Because for the evil spirits, they had their own regions to be in charge. Yeah. So coincidentally, at that time, there was herds of the pigs. So then the, this evil spirit back Jesus sent us among the pigs. So Jesus gave the permission to the evil spirits, so then the evil spirit came out and they went into the peaks. They heard about 2,000 in number rushed down to the slip bank into the lake. Once the evil spirit left the man, then the man came to came back to his senses. So since he had the right mind after the evil spirit left, so then he even asked for the clothes to wear. So the mental diseases so for those people who have these mental problems because a mental disease because of uh, possession of the evil spirit then it's incurable so among all diseases, there are many diseases, they are possessed by the evil spirits. And then Matthew chapter 12, verse 22. So here we see there was a man possessed by the evil spirit became mute and also cannot see blind. So, 
귀신 들려서 말도 못 하고 눈이 멀어졌다. So here because he was possessed by the evil spirit that's why he became blind and mute. 가다니 오늘 세전을 로고만지 에묘에 비비자리 야프람브라 모베 예소가야 루아치 자리 무지베 아덴가 카스티브 나카요게라. 마태복음 8장 28절. In Matthew chapter 8 verse 28. 내 마타요 예수 아무나나 오라비리 모나나. 아, 여도 보면 귀신 들린 자 나와요. So here also we can see a man with the evil spirit. 그러니까 귀신 들려 가지고 무서워한 사람이 됩니다. So the people possessed by the demon or evil spirit and then doing shamanism. 귀신들을 가지고 점수를 삽니다. And also being possessed by the evil spirit and then giving fortune telling to people or divination. So in the Acts chapter 10 verse 38, those who are oppressed by the devil. We sometimes during our sleep we have a nightmare oppressed by the evil spirit. So during our sleep, sometimes we have this experience. We cannot see anything invisible, but something is oppressing, pressing us. No, some of them in Tunga, you might be to them, Bandu. Maybe call out the other two Messura, Yakusa, or Rome Cut the one in Cup. You're almost seven. Yes, I mean, is a pleasure. So these are mental diseases. There are many people who are afflicted by this disease. So all these things, uh, what does it have to do with? It has to do with uh, Satan. And the underlings of Satan is the evil spirit. And also there are many around us, the people with the addiction problem. Alcohol, so addicted to alcohol, addicted to drugs, game, addicted to games, and gambling. Theft or stealing, and sometimes sexual immorality things. So, well, sometimes we are not talking about that. We are talking about stealing. And for some people, they are continuously they have depression. So if uh, continuously they are depressed, then uh, it turns into kind of a mental disease. 
So when you have uh, this uh, uh, something, uh, you know, mental problem, you have your feelings are very up, sometimes go down also very quickly, up and down. We can say this is schizophrenia, but uh, also there is a panic disorder problem. And if you have this panic disorder problem, then you know people are afraid to take planes. Because they are afraid of heights. And also another type of mental problems. And also mental disorder problems. Uh, and we have another problem inside your heart. You have some kind of um, some kind of uh, it's a disease, but you don't express it, but you have you have it inside. So around us, there are many people who have these kind of diseases. And then, um, disease of murder. When it comes to uh, but when it comes to murder or killing, then there are two types. First is a homicide. Killing others. When Cain killed his brother Abel, the scripture recalls it this way, uh, Cain belonged to the evil one, he killed his brother Abel. Uh, and suicide is uh, the other type. One uh, Luke chapter 22:3 Satan entered Judas called Iscariot, one of the twelve. So Judas Iscariot, he received the 30 silver coins from the high priest and then he sold Jesus up to them. And in Matthew chapter 27 and verse 5, it says, Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away and hanged himself. Oh. 
마귀가 가르미다에서 어. 들어가서 예수님을 돈박 파는 게 놓고는 양심의 가슴 느낌 만들어 또 자살을 시켜. So the devil entered into the heart of the Judas Iscariot and then uh, gave this uh, consciousness uh, awareness and then uh, make him uh, kill himself. So these things are considered as a spiritual problems. And six points for spiritual knowledge is a spiritual state. Spiritual state. 자 여러분 이제 다 관계세 영적 상태. So for spiritual states. Even you have something to do with this too. The spiritual thing says. 영적 상태란 말은 여러분이 상태가 여러분의 영적 상태가 하나님과 친하냐 아니면 사단과 친하냐. So what is a spiritual state? Spiritual state is this: whether you are close to God or close to Satan. 알겠어요? 이게 중요하단 말이야. So spiritual state is very important. 응답보다 중요한 영적 상태. So spiritual, is, uh, spiritual state is more important than answer. 자, 그럼 영적 상태는 게. 뭐 이런 뜻인데 이런 의미인데 그게 구체적으로 영적 상태 어떤 것이냐? Then spiritual state uh, in specific what is this? 베드로전서 네. 5장 7절 8절. First Peter chapter 5 verses 7 through 8. 베드로 에스토카타노 사바 모나. 너 염려를 다 죽게 막 It says, cast all your anxiety to the Lord. When you have something to worry, of course you will worry. So when you worry, then your spiritual state is in the state of worrying. When you think you have worries, then quickly, immediately you must come to God. 하나님께가 기도하면서 기도를 맡기. You must. You must quickly go to God and entrust your worries or your anxieties to God. Then God promised He will care for you. And then what is next after that? The scripture says, be alert and self-controlled. In one word. So be alert and self-control means to come to your senses because your enemy, the devil, is prowls around like roaring lion to looking for someone to devour. Yeah. 
If you see anybody worrying, then you know you must let him come to his senses quickly and come to God. But if you continue to worry, then you will be seized by Satan. So the devil, just like the lion, uh, which is who is very hungry and looking for the prey to eat, so the devil is like uh, like that, prowling around like luring lion to look for someone to devour. So 100% if you worry then you will be attacked and seized by Satan. And the job in the Bible, he always concerned about his children for he for their well being and also their their wrongdoings he concerned. When Satan tempted Job, then Satan plowed into what Job, uh, Job worried so much. And also Satan will attack yeah, through me. why you are afraid of. Yeah. 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 When you have worries, anxieties, concerns, and things like this, if you don't trust these things to God, but Satan will attack you through these things. Acts chapter 5, verse 3. See, so this is the incident of Ananias and Sapphira. Sapphira. <laughs> When this couple they uh, they lied before God and then uh, Peter asked them, Ananias, how is it that Satan has so filled your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit? <laughs> Samuel And for Samuel chapter 18, verse 8 through 10. So 
So when King, uh, uh, when da David had a victory uh, in the war and came back, then the women came out and they sang that Saul has slain his ten uh, his thousands, but David his tens of thousands. Oh, mona baby, si we biaya, musamu ni eso kesula, esula, esula kumi amlana, oro mlana pa kumi. Dawuli we akoma onga wangute, o bukati bu nobusa kanya. Eh, Saul ya tak urukumi, Dawuli asemo tuaro, guare je bisi kui bi orujanga janyo, guare je bisi mumu yisai. But Saul, 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 the king Saul became very angry about that. Saul, <laughs> So, so King Saul was angry because people have credited David with the tens of thousands, uh, but uh, but to him that he's there's only thousands. So that's why he gets so up, he got so upset. <laughs> Kanaka <laughs> King Saul became so upset about this, and he even worried about that he's maybe thrown, uh, might be taken away by David. So the king Saul probably would have thought about this all night long because he became so jealous and he became so enraged, I mean, enraged, angered. Yeah, good there. <laughs> In verse 10, it says, The next day, an evil spirit from God came forcefully upon Saul. He was prophesying in his house while David was playing the harp as he usually did. Saul had a spear in his hand. So King Saul, who was possessed by the evil spirit, he tried to kill David with a spear in his hand. So all these things reveal to us the spiritual state of these people. And also John chapter 13 verse 2 that the evil spirit prompted the hearts of the Judas Iscariot to sell Jesus. Oh, 
So for Judas Iscariot, he was in love with the money in ordinary times. Oh, Judas so Judas Iscari was a smart disciple. He was in charge of the treasury. He was very quick to calculate and then uh, maybe he had the faith in the money, I think. <laughs> but Mary Magdalene, she received so much grace from Jesus. So before Jesus uh, taking up the cross, she uh, broke the jar, jar of the perfume and then he pour, she poured oil on the foot of the Jesus. Uh, she, she, she cleaned it with uh, her hair. Then Judas Iscariot, when he saw this, what did he say? Judas Iscariot said this, then uh, this jar of perfume is so expensive, we could have sold this to, you know, somebody and then we could get so much money, but how come she broke the jar and then cleaned uh, Jesus' foot with the oil? So Judas Iscariot was very engaged in the money and then he was so quick to calculate. So in the Bible we saw that even he, you know, still he stole the money from the 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 offering box or offering yeah. <laughs> So Satan caught up this uh, Judas Iscariot. That's why uh, Judas Iscariot he sold Jesus in the uh, in the money of the thirty silver coins. So in even though you are upset or angry, but you you should not the sun go down while you are still angry. The reason is that you should not give any uh, foothold to the devil. So 
So that's why you need to be aware of your spiritual state. If your spiritual state, um, you know, Satan can attack uh, through this spiritual state. Yes, on the you know, 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 you you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you 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 so today's conclusion uh, and then seven the points of spiritual knowledge is a spiritual summit. So this is a priority for all men. Uh, uh, all things may go well with you, even your soul is getting along well. Uh, point number seven is what? What is point number seven? Ah, uh, uh, third John, third John, chapter one, verse two. Okay, tulimu parua eyayo kana eyo kusatu ove kumilebi. Point. I mean, it would be that is only one. Point seven. Is it spiritual what? Spiritual what? Spiritual summit. Summit. S U M M I T. Summit. The top. Okay. Here's spiritual yes. summit. Yeah, spiritual yes. summit, that's right. A spiritual summit. A spiritual summit? <laughs> yeah, we will explain it. <laughs> spiritual summit. Yeah, we continue. Let's go home. <laughs> Spiritual summit. Spiritual spiritual summit means that spiritually you reach the top or you go up to the top. spiritual summit. take so let me just give you the Bible verses. So try to find these Bible verses by yourself. So Genesis chapter 41, verse 38, 39, and Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 through 18. No, but a sula a moo or a soca pack of broken in our land. First Samuel chapter three, verse ten through eighteen and nineteen. A sula ya put a summary soca or a puppy. First Samuel chapter sixteen, verse thirteen and number five. Second King chapter two, verse nine through fourteen. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 through 13 Yeah, after I'm going to read them for them Yeah After writing 
Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2 through 4. Okay, let me read it for them. Okay. 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 Second Kings chapter 2, verse 9 to 14. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. Isaiah 6, 1 to 13. Second Corinthians 12, 2 to 4. Do you open that? Muri Mukilas, where Muri? Where Muri? Where the enemy? Yeah, it is done. We have written them. Okay, thank you. So <laughs> you're going to be okay, Jagis. So today we just finish here, okay, up to here. Kakati Oro Alero Tumarite Awo. Yeah, we four versions I mean, Aka. So our assistant pastor Boba gave you the workshop of gospel chart number one and number two. And again, uh, Pastor Boba uh, gave you the workshop of gospel chart one and two, the principle of God's creation and His reign and the fallen world. Do you remember? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> So did you write down all the Bible verses uh, in his lecture that Boba gave you? Did you write down the Bible verses? Yes. Yes. We have written all the Bible oh, verses. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, we have. Chip is also go. 도표에 나오는 성경 구절 다 찾아가지고 전부 적어서 그걸 여러분이 한달 동안 계속 도표 그려보고 성경 구절 적고 한번 찾아보고 이렇게 해서 한달 동안 그걸 웍사바세요. So all the Bible verses uh, the Boba assistant pastor gave you when you go home. Find these Bible verses from the Bible and write them down. And I want you to uh, study and uh, meditate on the Bible verses. So only those who do this homework, then you can gather again for the next training. So, 
because uh -huh. our lecture haven't actually finished even the half of the uh, whole lecture. So that's why only those who did who do this homework then they can join in the next training. So let's finish with a prayer. Amen. We give thanks to our God. May this gospel that should be restored to Uganda uh, be relayed. May the disciples who will restore and relay this gospel be gathered. And also for this time, the gospel, the message they receive, so may they be able to do the workshop of this. Uh, as they concentrate on the words, so may they also receive healing. And may you bless them so that they can gather again uh, with the, all the transformed uh, God gave them, transformed life God gave them. We give we give all the thanks to our God and we pray in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen.